we think a lot about the environment. So here are 10 tips for how you can do the same. If you take a stove with an average use and a lifespan of 10 years, its actual production only represents 10% of the stove's total energy consumption. This means that you, the user, can significantly reduce your stove's total carbon dioxide emissions and environmental impact. Here are 10 tips that can make a difference. Gas is good. Gas doesn't need any preheating and is more efficient than liquid fuel. Use a windscreen. Protect the stove from the wind. The right combination gives the best effect. Don't use a small pot on a large burner. It's best to make sure that you have the right burner for the right size pot. Use a lid as this makes boiling quicker. It's best to use an aluminum cooking pot with a heat exchanger. Used together, they shorten boiling times and reduce fuel consumption by around a third. Choose food that cooks quickly. Food like spaghetti or other thin pasta. Small pieces are better. It's quicker to cook food that's been cut into small pieces. Reduce the output. Use a maximum of around three-quarter of the stove's output, as this will make best use of the energy. First, turn the valve to max, and then back until the flame starts to decrease. Don't cook the food completely. Let it finish cooking in the afterheat using an insulation bag. Save on heat. If you have any hot water left over, save it in a vacuum bottle for your next meal. When you choose your fuel, try to find CO2 compensated gas. And don't forget to recycle the gas cartridge if possible. It's made of steel and can always be recycled when emptied. Follow your local regulations for steel recycling.